a um, multi-camera thing. So if I feel like I'm not looking at you, YouTube, I could be looking over here at my feed going on Facebook. So welcome everyone. I'm so glad to see you. Um, first of all, I just, a little bit about myself. This is my studio. My studio is located in Zanesville, Ohio. It is called Girl Upcycled Studio. Um, we do all things here that include art, upcycling, and DIY. Um, and I absolutely love it when you stop by. I've met so many of you from YouTube, um, and I so enjoy when you stop through. So we're really close to Interstate 70. Um, I'm gonna learn in paint layering and some blending. And I'm going to turn this piece, which is like a really, oh, light colored, just a pine, but it's really cool. It has a lot of shape to the legs and curviness and awesomeness and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be doing a layered blended paint finish. Um, I have a look in my mind. I want it to be super weathered looking. Um, kind of almost like this rustic kind of a loveliness is what I have in my mind. So we're just going to work through it tonight and see how it goes. If y'all have questions, just put it in the feed. Um, if you are not able to see me very well over on Facebook, you can jump up over here on YouTube and see if I think I've got a better, um, I've got my better camera over here on the YouTube one. So let me get started and I'll talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing. Hi, Miss Gail. How are you? All right, let's put the drawer in here too so you can kind of get a good feel for it. Beautiful piece though, right? So um, here's what we're going to use today, gang. So far I have pulled out, um, I'm using the DIY paint brand from Debbie's Design Diary. It is an all-natural clay-based paint. I use it very, very often, and I do sell this as well, so if you need this, um, I can even ship it out to you. Um, I do most of my shipping with the flat rate um, boxes, so you can as fill it as full as you can, and it'll still be the same rate, so it kind of works out good. Hey, hey, Marie, how are you? Um, so we're gonna start off with layered chocolate, which is a brown tone. Um, I also have um, Summer Crush, which is this kind of orange tone that we're going to put in it. And then I also have Prairie Gray, which is this beautiful, beautiful earthy kind of color. Okay, so I'm going to be blending some of those as I apply it. Um, this paint, you guys, is also what I use in all of my artwork. So if you see the little, hi Shabalot, how are you? So if you see the painting behind me, that is the DIY paint. And it is very vibrant and it's beautiful. It's all natural um, and it's just fun to use. So let's get started. Um, I'm just going to throw some on a little plate that I have left over my holiday plates and I'm just going to start painting. I think I'm going to start down here first and I am using a paint pixie brush. This is the nylon brush that paint pixie has and love the nylon brushes. And I'm sorry if I'm in your way over on Facebook, you can pop over onto my YouTube if you want, and you may have a little bit better view. We're just gonna do this really quick. So just painting this a little bit darker alone, not doing anything else is gonna make it a little more rustic, right? That, that alone, don't you think? So, and this is kind of a smooth kind of a finish that I'm painting. So you need to make sure that you don't overwork it. I do really enjoy this piece because it has a lot of dips and dents and imperfections 
that it came with. I mean, it's made to look that way. So it's going to look pretty cool once we get all of our um, coats on here, right? everybody getting into anybody else painting today I have been shopping today I did a little picking today so it's been all over a pretty good day and my favorite thing to do some of you already know this on Tuesdays is my day that I get to go live in my creators club and spend a little bit of time with those amazing ladies in there and I love them I love being in there um, and we had a really really unique kind of a class today um, going over um, instead of just choosing like a word for the year we're going through and we're choosing like entire phrases and sentences and things like that so Somebody's car is going off. Surprise the dog's not barking. It might take them a while to figure out their horn blowing. <laughs> a little bit about phrases and I think I'll just share that with a little bit too of what we did today um, we went through like really being very very intentional I think I'm gonna, I need a little short brush I need a little shorty we, we were really really intentional about um, our class today and writing down specific things um, for the year so you know that's kind of the way to do it right you kind of need to write things as if it's already happened and trust that process so you're kind of tricking your mind a little bit you're tricking your subconscious mind just a little bit when you do some that kind of thing I just switched over you guys and I'm using the blender the paint pixie blender brush just because it's going to be a little bit wider and I'm going to be able to do a little bit more I'm going to step back behind it real quick I'm going to cover a little bit of ground I'm not really overthinking my application right now um, I do have some colors that will go over top of this but I wanted this dark background to be on the undertone. This is a really cool shaped, it's called a sofa table. It's nice and chunky. All that good stuff. So I would love to know if any of you have tried doing um, phrases for your new year rather than just a word. Most people just like pick a word out, which um, when a word came to my mind, it was faithful, faith. So that tells me that I just need to lean in and have faith when when things kind of seem like they're going wrong, I need to just have faith that um, it'll turn out for the best. So, um, but that was the word that came up, but we went beyond just doing a word and we did a complete, about 100 to 150 word, um, little bit of a homework process I guess I gave him some homework 
<laughs> but it's going to be to their benefit. And the fun thing that we do in there is that we tweak that throughout the year. It's not just something that we do this time of year and then don't go back to it because that is completely, I mean, worthless. If that's the way you're going to um, if that's the way you're going to um, do it, it's kind of like you're wasting your time, really. It's not something that you just do once and leave. It's something that you want to read over and over again. These are paragraphs, um, little paragraphs that you are writing to yourself about who you are, who you really are. So that could be actually professionally as well as um, personally, you can do one for your business life, and then you could also do one that would be for your personal life. That's what I'm going to do, and you need to keep it where you can see it. Multiple copies. I hope that y'all can hear me okay. <laughs> Are you able to hear me? I guess I better come up here and make sure. Um, I don't see any comments. Let's see over here on YouTube. Mm. I don't know. I'm sure there are comments. Yes, okay, thanks Gail, thank you. Um, those of you that do not know, I do have a YouTube channel and I've been going live over there quite a bit, trying to. So if you are not signed up for my notifications, because over there I do um, edited videos as well. It's not just all um, live stuff. Again, I'm using layered chocolate right now. I'm just putting this on real quick. you find hi Marie Marie is in my creators club and Marie I'm sorry you missed the live today I saw that you came in after I ended it sorry about that but it is a good one the nitty-gritty with um, intention on how we're going to live our lives and how we're going to um, create and what we expect to see and the way we're going to actually how we're feeling when we succeed we're going we're acting as if we are already there and we are already those things that we are achieving to be is kind of what we're doing we are already there our subconscious mind is you know sometimes like it honestly doesn't know whether it's real or not when you tell it something so you need to you need to talk out loud and tell your yourself all these positive things and these goals as if it already were because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference so we're kind of tricking it just a little bit um hi miss marcia how are you today so So I'm going to do another one that will be for my personal life as well as my, my work life. This color's pretty, right? Um, and I'm going to do such things as like one thing I've already started with um, lifting a little bit of light weights and that's, that was always my thing when I was younger. I was always into um, toning and definition and that sort of thing. So, so that's the kind of thing that I would write on my personal um, chart or my personal um, paragraph would be, you know, that my body is strong and defined and healthy and right. So that's, that's something that 
would be on my personal little personal journey. But we're having a lot of fun with it. This table, you guys, you can't see it very well, I know, but it has these little holes that are in it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm and little worm holes and they're great. The paint's gonna really pop. Big chunky legs. And I will be adding some other colors here in a bit. So you can see how fast it goes on with the paint. I think I had just a, I had somebody ask a question over here. I'm sorry if I missed it. Um, I forget how to pull them back up. Let me see. There they are. <laughs> Hi, Shabalot. Um, excited about learning the weathered look. Um, okay, new to DIY paint. I've been adding water to speed the paint further. Um, Wait a minute, what's it say? Even when not blending, can I ask, is it better to not use water when you're not blending? When you're not blending, well, if you don't use water when you're so you can get more texture out of it, which I'm a texture girl. I like it being thick and chunky and all that good stuff because it gives your paint some tooth. I call it a little bit of tooth. Um, and so what that tooth does is it, it allows the glazes and the waxes to like hang on to all those little ridges and things like that. I hope that makes sense. Hello, Sylvia. Um, you don't have sound. Um, Marsha, I hope. Sometimes you gotta touch the screen to get sound, so can somebody give me a shout out? So I am starting down here on the lower part first because I wanna get to my blending part. And I wanna get it kind of the brown on here first. Do I have sound? Yes, I have sound. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? All good over there? How are you, Gail? I haven't talked to you for a while, Miss Gail. What's up? What's up, Chicky? What's up in your neck of the woods? <laughs> huh? I'll go back and read these comments. I realize that I'm working and not able to see it all. Too bad the dog can't read. Do you guys see my dog? She's over on the couch here. That's Ginger. Ginger Roo the Fangango is in the house. <laughs> um, I'm excited about this piece though. Um, it's gonna look totally different. So it'll be fun to see the transformation. I still get excited when I open up a new can of paint. I know that sounds weird because I've been painting for 20 years. You'd think I would get over that, but I don't. <laughs> it's, just, it's like I still get excited when I pull the paints out. You know? Anybody else? for a really cool weathered um, rustic look. I love, love, love weathered rustic. It's one of my favorites um, at my house. That's what I have at my house. Um, Everything's highly weathered and chippy and um, all that good stuff. 
chippy chippy so that the wood's showing through and the wood is old. The stuff that I have, I have a lot of stuff at home that's actually like, I don't know how old it is, but it's like stuff that I bought that's chippy. I've got most of my newer painted stuff that I've done is in my bedroom. It's my bedroom I'm redoing and so I have a lot of like my bohemian style stuff there. I would say, what is your style of decorating, y'all? I'm curious to know. I, I would say for me, uh, my style of decorating, I would have to say is like rustic bohemian, uh, rustic boho chic with a little twist of farmy in there. I, it's hard because I'm very eclectic and I like so much <laughs> so, uh, so it gets really hard for me just to um, do one thing I I don't like a lot of clutter I will tell you that hi Stephanie um, so I don't have a lot of like tchotchkes sitting around Um, the stuff that I do have sitting around are like um, locally made pieces of art, like from potters, um, things like that. So I'm really I'm, I'm picky, I'm picky about that. But I don't I don't like the tchotchkes. Come over here so I can talk to you. Don't like tchotchkes. Like so. Here's here's the deal. Here's why I don't like tchotchkes. I don't get a ton of time to clean. So when I'm cleaning, I just want to like swoop through and clean. I want to I want to swoop through and dust, right? I don't want to have to dust a bunch of knickknacks. And if I had a bunch of knickknacks, I probably wouldn't wouldn't fuss with them too much. I just, so, so I just don't have a lot of little tchotchkes. And it's so funny because in my main living room, I don't even have a lot of art right now because my art has sold, <laughs> which is a blessing. So, I have to look at my bare windows, or my bare windows, my bare um, walls, and I have to give thanks when I see that they're bare because everything I've made for my walls has sold. So it's that's a good problem to have, and so I have to I have to just feel nothing but blessed. So the one thing that I would like to do this year, as far as decorating goes, is put up a gallery wall going down into, um, we've got an open wall in our house. It goes down to the basement, but it's a half wall. And so you can kind of see down in it. And I would like to do a gallery um, on the walls there with all of our like family pictures from our vacations and all of that, I think it would be really cool because I mean, I know that those wouldn't sell, right? <laughs> so I'm like, well, I think I'll do that this year. Does anybody else have a gallery wall? Do you have any good tips for me if you do? Like, I don't know if I should do them like all similar frames or if I should mix it up a little bit. I'm so eclectic that I don't know. See how fast that goes, guys? Um, sounds going in and out. Is that for everybody?
know if that is my internet or what. If you guys are having trouble, go over to um, go over to YouTube. See if it's better. Oh my lord, people! So I would say somebody's sitting at the bar and they're hitting their their horn keeps going off. <laughs> at the brewery. That would be my guess. Okay, everybody says if over on YouTube that the sound is really good, so you guys just go over to YouTube. The qual every I, I hate to talk bad because I love I love my Facebook, but the video and every everything, the quality is just better over on YouTube, guys. <clears throat> so all right, we are good, 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 good in the neighborhood. All right, so let's start doing a little blending, adding some colors. Do I want texture? What do I want, guys? This is where I like to have fun. Um, this, let's see. Even though the, even the honking, they can even hear the honking. Hello, Miss Vintage Sin. I love that name from Cindy from San Diego. Oh, I'm surprised, Vintage Sin, since your name's Cindy, that you didn't spell Sin, C-I-N. That would be cool. All right, so I need to just make up my mind here what I want to do. Because I don't know. Let me grab my brush. Let's see what I have here. Do, do, do. Everything sprawled out. Um, here it is. I'm gonna grab my other, other paint pixie. All right. So I've got my orange, which is summer crush. I almost called it orange crush. It's called summer crush. I like painting. I do too. All right, you know what? I'm gonna start on this. No, you guys won't be able to. I'm just gonna start right here, real quick, in case you don't like it. Okay. Like, what if I don't like it? Ooh, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Can y'all see? I don't know if you can see it very well. Kind of taken at this weathered wood, wood kind of a finish it has a little bit of warmth to it let me see Let's see if I want to oh goodness I'm a little bit sore from my workout yesterday um hi Susan It's kind of a kind of subtle. Let me see what it's gonna look like when it dries. Whoops.
to be a little too subtle for my liking. We shall see. So here's my thought. I don't want to get carried away because let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this old 57 and I'm going to scrape into it. So let's try that a little bit so at least you'll be able to see it a little bit. And then we can kind of see like, make a decision if we like it or not. Don't want it to. Don't want it to highly blend. Makes sense. Can you see that, guys? I think it's going to look pretty. That's pretty. So pretty. This tool, it's a catalyst wedge, and I will be carrying these in a matter of days. So you will be able to find these on my website, you guys. So, all right. And a wonderful, wonderful product. I use it quite a bit. think you'll enjoy it as well okay so let's just keep going let's just keep doing what we doing okay there's that and I'm going to dip into the gray I'm going to dip back into chocolate watch my ass how's everybody over on YouTube tonight I missed y'all I need to get back on here and do a postcard painting as well oh thank you Sammy okay so I haven't forgot about the postcard paintings I just, um, you know, it's been busy. I'm still catching up from the, from the holidays and stuff. Right? I have all my Christmas up. How about you? Hi, Melanie. Can you see that kind of like aged weather? Kind of blending it in back and forth. And I'm gonna dip in my old 57. You guys, I love this color, it's my favorite. What's my second favorite color? Does anybody know? Let's see if y'all have been paying attention. Ooh, pretty. I feel like I should put some on this plate. I don't contaminate my whole my whole thing. Mm, yes. Yes, Lord. So pretty. All right. Who's guessing? Nope, not cowgirl. 
Um, oh, I see my dresser is still in the background. What dresser? Your dresser? Boho blue. Uh-huh. Shabalot. It's a cross between boho blue and mermaid tail. Those are, I love those. We got like the best blues in, I think, in the DIY line. They're so pretty. Mmm, pretty. Oh, the sea witch, April. It's yours. You want it? It's yours. April, that's your. That's my April on there. April, are you getting that? April, I need to. I need to contact you, girl. We need a. We need to get together, you and me. Yes, it's still here. It's waiting on you. It can be yours. I'm not a little more subtle. So I can go in and add over top of it if I want just the brown. Haven't decided. So that's kind of what I'm going for a little bit. Um, I feel like I want to keep painting those base colors so to give it a little bit of time to dry because I'm doing it while it's so wet right now. Um, love the Blue Rivers too. Yep. it works a little bit more. I'm going to use this paint. I usually like to work on a section until I get it how I want it and then I and then I can match the rest up to it. So You are coming to get it? Okay, girl. Right now? Right this very second? <laughs> I'm teasing you. Cheers. Yeah, April has loved that. The Sea Queen. Since she first saw it. And so it must have been made for her. Okay. I think I want it way more subtle than what that one is now that I'm feel like I'm getting the hang of it. Lighter on the hand. Much lighter. gray is a beautiful, beautiful, earthy, just kind of this clay kind of color. It's just beautiful. I'm dipping into water. Okay, 
So I think I want to go just really, really light on the application of the turquoise. Let me get um, one of my knives. mess here. I can't find anything. Alright, this is I this is not my ideal knife, but let's so I kind of offloaded it just a little bit and I'm gonna just kind of lightly hit it. So what I'll do, I'll just go back over what I just did. You just kind of have to play play around with it, guys, until you kind of get a feel for what you like. And you do have to be careful with these metal knives because it will, if you're not careful, you can scrape down a little bit too much. I like that. These are very, very earthy, uh, very rustic feel. Be perfect for even a farmhouse kind of a look. That are into that rustic farmhouse. It's just fine. I think I like that way better. Um, I love the color. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think it needs to be a little bit lighter than my first try over there. So I will go and I'll paint over that. And that is the good thing about paint is that we can, we have that freedom to play, that trial and error kind of a, liking it. Um, I think I missed a question over here. Man, very fuzzy. It's me. <laughs> it could be my, my uh, internet. I've got country girl issues, you guys. <laughs> country girl issues. So what do you think? Are you liking the lighter application? or the heavier that looks i kind of feel like i got it i think it's a little too much just a little let's just keep applying it because that's kind of what the cool thing is the more you apply the more texture and the better it kind of looks. Oh, yes. I like that. So I'm going to be working.
working on this piece throughout this week and I will be going live while I do it. have something planned for it too so I'm kind of just having fun and playing around with this some of this is going to get covered I've got plans um, for a certain kind of a transfer that will be going over this so I really don't have to spend a whole heck of a lot of time on this front part but it is fun for a demo to kind of show you guys. So you can go back and forth on your colors and get, build all kinds of like color and texture. Just by going back and forth. That toned it down right there quite a bit. And let's go back over this piece. So the legs on this piece is kind of going to be the superstar. If you want it softer, you want it a little bit softer and less texture you would spray and you would start blending it a little bit oops looks like I'm running out of juice let me plug my phone in before, before I lose juice always something I'm hoping hey Shelly hello my friend I am talking to Shelly from Shizzle. Do y'all know who that is? One of my heroes in life. I probably just made her blush. She is. So when I got into this business, whoops, I'm just throwing stuff. Shelly uh, Andrea, I believe is how you pronounce her last name. She was one of the very first ladies in the business that I saw um, even before I knew who Debbie was for some some reason I come came across her and saw her magical layered bright colored chippiness and was just like taken I was just so so Shelly has created this monster right here <laughs> And then from there, I met all these other wonderful, wonderful, talented people um, like Debbie and Dion and Quita and <sighs> she paints. Chris, I mean, like I can go on. Ugh. I can just go on and on and name lady after lady after lady after lady. And we are having so much fun. How can we follow Shelly? You want to go to Shizzle, right? Shelly, are you on YouTube? Oh, that's pretty, guys. This is really pretty. I'm having fun with this. These are my colors. Really, really nice and rustic. I'm really liking this area of the leg right here. Um, <laughs> she says, you're my inspiration. Oh, you're so funny. Shelly, are you on YouTube? I know she's over on Facebook. Um, Shelly, look up Shizzle. Yeah. And and it was so cool because uh, 
We've gotten some meat. She was at one of our boot camps. She was in Tennessee. I got to meet her in Tennessee when we went to Beth Kidwell's. And uh, that was amazing. I just wanted to hang out with her. I wanted to hang out with her, but I had to work, you know. <laughs> had to work. We did get to, to do a little bit of hanging, though. So I'm just kind of playing around, guys. Like I said, a lot of this portion is going to have a certain kind of transfer on it when I... Uh, when it's all said and done. So just a little tiny, tiny pop of that will show through. Um, but I did want to do a nice little demo of the application. Um, it's going to look different to when I get it finished. So I'm going to keep continuing the layering part that I'm doing now. Um, Shabalot just followed Shizzle Design on Insta. That's her. That's Shelly. Um, so this is how I'm doing it. I'm going back and forth with the colors, back and forth, back and forth. If you want it softer and you don't want the texture showing, you're going to add water. So you're going to take your little, you're going to take your little, whoa, I didn't want that much water. You take your bottle. I do have these little misters on my website if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself. Um, so you're going to lightly spray that down and then you're going to start blending it a little bit. And that'll take out some of the texture. So you can kind of play with it. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Just do a really, really, really light touch, guys. And that'll take some of the texture out. Now, if you like all the texture, which I don't, I don't hate it because I'm a texture girl. Um, to me, when I think of like a really, really rustic kind of a finish, it has texture to it, right? But uh, you can kind of play with it. If you over blend it, you will muddy up all of your colors, okay? So you kind of want to be careful that you don't muddy it up too much. So, okay, does that make sense? And are there any questions? I'm going to come over here. I don't see any questions. Are you on Instagram too? Can we watch there? Um, Joanne, I, I am on Instagram, but I'm not live there right now. But I do a lot of um, things on my Instagram in my stories, love stories. Okay, Shelly, all my YouTube videos are from years ago. That's okay. She was good then. She's good now. She's like wine. She just keeps getting better. <laughs> I'm on Facebook under Shizzle, Pinterest, and my regular website under Shizzle Design. I'm still going to make the trip down to Ohio to see you. Awesome, girl. I can't wait. So I am planning some more workshops, you guys. So... Um, be on the lookout for that. We will be having some live workshops throughout this coming year, um, in the summer and in the, well, particularly, particularly um, towards the end of summer is what we're thinking. And then maybe in the fall, because it's so beautiful here in the fall. So I, I need you guys here in the fall so you can see how beautiful. But I hope you enjoyed it so you can kind of see what the end result is going to be it does slightly lighten just a smidgen as it dries um, I'm going to continue painting this finish um, this part I'm going to work on until I match it up to this 
and that's kind of how I like to work. I kind of like to get get my feel for um, a, an area that I like, and I tweak it a little bit, and then once I get it where I like it, then I can carry the whole thing out. Um, and that's that's kind of how I usually work. So everybody kind of has their own little techniques and, and different things that they do. But that's how I like to work. Um, I will let that dry. Um, I will also be um, probably doing some kind of like waxing or glazing or something in the crevices. So maybe, maybe I'll use some of that dust. I haven't used that yet. We have um, some dark and decrepit dust. That might be kind of cool in the corners um, and all that good stuff. Um, yeah the picture's better over on youtube i think zanette yeah so that's all there is for tonight i had you on here about an hour so i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned i'll have um another part to this um and i'll kind of show you how we finish it off and then um, we will also be doing a live on the transfer that i believe is going to be over on the iron orchid design page um, but hopefully I can get a copy of it and be able to have that on my YouTube as well. Shelly says the dust rocks. Awesome. Went by fast, says Shabalot. Awesome. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I'm probably going to eat something, hopefully not too fattening. So good night, everyone. I'll talk to you guys soon. And I will drop the links to all for you. All right. Bye, everyone. And I can't figure out how to leave. <laughs> Here we go.